Hey everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of A View from Tracy's Point. And I am here with another, you guys get two in one day, another View from Tracy's Point shorts. So I turn on my computer and there is a, I think it was a post from um, Steve Greenberg saying that Jocelyn had finally talked and it linked to a story on TMZ. So Jocelyn has come out and basically said that that was not her on that Patreon account and that, you know, she's highly offended that somebody um, would do that and, you know, create that platform and say all those awful things in her name. She says that her and Azriel remain firmly behind um, R. Kelly. I thought it was interesting that she called him R. Kelly <laughs> because um, I've dated people that have um, nicknames or, you know, public names that people call them. But when you're in a relationship with that person, you usually call them by their actual birth name. But um, she says that she still loves R. Kelly very much, that her and Azriel stand firmly behind him, that that was not her um, with the Patreon account. And so she's reading a prepared statement. And so once she gets through the statement, which is about two minutes long, she kind of gets in her feelings and she starts talking off script and, you know, just basically saying that she loves him, that, you know, he's her friend, he's a man that, um, you know, she doesn't appreciate the things that people are saying, that he's being railroaded. She doesn't understand why the courts won't let him come home and that, um, you know, she's doing good. Azrael is doing good. And she says that she talks to um, Robert on the phone every day and that she visits him every two weeks, I think is what she said. And that her and Azrael, you know, attend all of his court hearings which I'm not sure I heard or seen anything of them, you know, at the last few hearings that he's had, but that is what she's saying. And so, you know, I always like to read the comments. So there was somebody in the comments that posted that um, R. Kelly's visitation list is public record and that Jocelyn is not on the visitation list. And then I remember Steve Greenberg saying that, he could only have one person that was a non-family member and that he could switch out every 90 days. And so I believe the 90 days would have been up in November. And so maybe she is now seeing him, not sure. But anyway, she wanted to set the record straight. And she pretty much said, you know, what everybody had been saying that she should come out and say all along. So now, of course, that it took her, you know, almost two weeks to come forward with her statement. People are, you know, bashing her and saying she's lying and that, you know, why did Steve Greenberg, you know, come out and say, you know, she was a gold digger and had turned on um, R. Kelly and now all of a sudden, you know, she is in his corner with this statement. And so, you know, haters are going to hate and people are going to believe what they want to believe. But I believe I said from the beginning that I did not think that that was Jocelyn behind that page. And, you know, I just think that she's a private person that, you know, he probably told her not to say anything. And then maybe now he's told, you know, maybe she said, I really want to say something. And he said, okay, we'll go ahead and say it, but let me get somebody to write you a statement because I'm telling you, she was doing good when she was reading off that cell phone. But when she went to freestyling it, you know, she did kind of sound a little stupid, but I believe her. I believe she's sincere. Um, go to TMZ if you want to um, watch the video. I would drop it here, but TMZ um, likes to file copyright claims on people when they use their content. And I couldn't figure out if it was TMZ's content or not. Like, did Jocelyn post the video somewhere and then TMZ picked it up or did she post the video and send it to TMZ? So if I find out that she posted it somewhere else, I'll share it. 
but I wasn't able to see like where it was posted originally and how they got a hold of it. So I'm not putting it here, but you can go to TMZ and um, to their YouTube page and listen to the video. It's about two minutes long and she's just basically expressing that it was not her, that she stands behind him that Azriel stands behind him and that they're all good. They're just waiting for him to come home and for this whole ordeal to be over with. So guys, go find the video, check it out. You know, go to a TMZ website or go to their YouTube channel and then come back and let me know. Let's talk about it in the comments, what you thought about um, Jocelyn's video. So leave your comments below, rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.